Kitley does win the toss. And so now Georgia Amor, the Australian point guard for the Hokies, starting things off. Thought you might get your first look at it right there. Six on the shot clock. Kitley still trying to find an opening. And pretty good defense by Akin Body James, but better offense. Always one to watch on the outside, as is Kayla King. Kayana Trailer, the transfer from Purdue, along with Kitley and Amor. And there is a three. This Virginia Tech team leads the ACC in three-pointers made per game. But that was a very poorly played game by Virginia Tech. That was on Sunday. Hokies losing in Chapel Hill, 71-46, their first ACC loss of the season. Easy look there for Kitley. She has the patience. She finishes. She runs the floor like a guard. Amor keeps her. Well, they've got the two bigs in there, and they got to take advantage of them on the offensive end as well. Good post up inside by Jade Williams to clear some space on the baseline. See if Trailer can get something going off the bounce. Kara Lawson has already made a change, bringing in Vanessa De Jesus in. Who started most of the games, but don't let Balagoon get hot. Well, so that's Taylor. That's a big loss for them. Uh, 12 points a game. And she was uh, in a sling with that shoulder injury that she suffered in the last game. 7-0 Blue Devil run to tie this game up. Kitley. Takes it, makes it. Maya Finkley has come in, but she finds Jade Williams, who's making the most of this start. And knocking down a jumper. And this is her scouting report, Jen. Elite footwork and balance. She runs the floor like a guard, and that fadeaway is really unguardable. They know each other so well. They've spent so much time together in the gym. Kitley continues her good night. Put it on the on the deck and try to get inside. And Body James had it blocked. Good ball movement and the finish by the Jesus. Blue Devils trying to get a good look here to end quarter number one. Good child works the glass for her first point of the game and makes it a one-point game. Really good execution by the Blue Devils in the last possession of the first quarter. And Goodchild, who shoots to three, gets an O-board. Four-time ACC Player of the Week. I mentioned Kitley and Shepard potentially both being Player of the Year candidates. Kitley's played like it. Shepard's been quiet, and there's a good basket in the paint. No field goals for the Hokies since the 336 mark in the first quarter. Kitley around and out. King with the offensive rebound. And one, going to the free throw line. Got to make sure you communicate all that action on the weak side right there so you get the matchups right. And Body James working against Kitley. Duke up three. Do the Hokies need more from Aza Shepard? I mean, passing it off to Kitley's not a bad idea. The baseline screening action has been outstanding for Virginia Tech. This really good execution, again, on situational offense. To be ready to catch and shoot, knowing that your player lock and trail behind is trailing the play. And Shepard off the bounce. Maybe that'll get her going. In Durham and a tight one. One point lead for the 16th ranked Blue Devils. Is with Balagoon using that left hand beautifully. Duke fifth in the ACC in rebounding. So it's typically an area they take a lot of pride in as well. Turnover goes to Shepard. The dish to Amor, and that layup is good. Goes all the way across the court to Goodchild. Knocks down the three in the corner. And she has really been playing well for Duke. But you got to know where she is if you're Virginia Tech. She's too good of a three-point shooter. Yeah, Kara's saying she's not just going to stand in the corner and shoot the three, but she can do that. And Day Wilson can score too. Good child. Saves it on the baseline. Gets it back for Lewis. What hustle. From Cameron Indoor Stadium, second meeting of the season between these two teams. Amor got an open lane. And see, there's the first adjustment. Look at Kitley, wants the ball. She's calling for it. Bain says, hey, I can yeah. get to the bucket too. Because that hard post up takes away help. 
Virginia Tech has had the shots that they've wanted in their offense. Kitley. You're a step finish. That's not a Euro, Jen. That's a step through. Good child. Got a good look and made him pay. That's two threes. There's two field goal attempts for Asia Shepard in the first half. It's an All-American. Very quiet. Amor making it look good. Trying to get back into being impactful for this Virginia Tech team. Balagoon, offensive rebound. Good child, good. Just added quite a bit. It's been on display. And Baines, I'm telling you, Baines is the difference here in the third quarter. He's got to keep bringing it for the Tar Heels. Good child. Off the glass and in. Three point lead for Duke. Baines makes it a one point game. Is this going to be a career night for Baines? It's been a much quieter quarter for Kitley, but the good news is other Hokies have stepped up, like Kayla King. Can't leave her open. Day Wilson put her snake behind that screen. She is determined. <laughs> well, that's how it went in the books, and that sends her to the bench. And Duke takes advantage. Balagoon puts her team out in front. Trailer drives. There's that left-handed layup she was missing earlier. She led the ACC last season in that category, had 13. Shepard's got to make that. And she does! Balgoon, there was no whistle. I think everybody expected something to be called when King hit the deck. And that's been a point of emphasis to try to get that out of the women's game. But to your point, there, there is no penalty against it, at least right now. And the three start to fall for the Hokies. King helps her out. Baines ties her career high with that rebound. That was number 12. Kitley still fighting for it for Virginia Tech and gets the free throw. And a quiet night for Asia Shepard, but she did hit a three. Late in that corner, and now she's got another. Like anything about the way that they played in Chapel Hill in their last game, their loss to 19th ranked North Carolina. Kenny Brooks made his team watch the game. Three on the shot clock, Shepard! Oh, she's feeling it! Oh, good child's got to shoot that when she gets that deep. You see, the good job not letting Cheyenne Day Wilson get a catch. Any win on the road in the ACC, any coach will tell you is a big one. The Hokies get it done tonight.